Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rob here from Work, Rec and Play. Just a quick video today on um, the EXS24 and Logic. I'm just going to show you how I chop up some samples and make it into a track. So let's start with this track. This is a track that I picked uh, the other day going through some old music and it's called Always by Atlantic Star. Have a quick listen. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put that into Logic and we're going to chop that up and then put it into the EXS24. So if we start with Logic. Now this is the actual track that I've done already. I'm going to get into that afterwards, okay? What I do is I take the track here into Logic, drag and drop. Okay, there's your audio track. What I do now is you can go to Audio and strip silence or if you've got the menu bar up here and you can customize the toolbar strip silence what this is going to do is open another page and this page will take you to here the wave now if you go to threshold here it's set to four there's not many cuts there's not many slices so what i done is i kept going up and up and you can see they start to appear now I think I put mine to 39. Now, if you see this, it's 39 here. This is how many cuts there is. And if you look over here, it's 259 regions. That's separate tracks basically being spread out on the keyboard. Now, what I've done from there is I'll press OK. There's your chops. OK. Now what you want to do is audio, convert regions to new sampler track. When you do that, it opens up here. Now the mistake that I made when I done this earlier is that I left it at C1 because that's where I leave my samples when I put them on EXS and G8. Now it spread out the sample. I won't do that because I've already done it. It spread out the sample, but it's not the full song on the keyboard. Even when I go to four octaves up it's still not the complete song so what I've done here is that I've used about three quarters of the track and I've chopped it up so okay so that's in your sampler so let me just do that actually so you can you can have a look so if I go okay it's going to open here as this so let's silence this solo it sorry <laughs> It's going to come as chops. So, what you want to do from there is you want to go to EXS24, open it, and then edit. Now, if you see here this edit window, each one of these bars here is a chop. So, if it starts from C1 on my keyboard. Yeah. See, they're chopped up. There you go. Now, what you want to do is, if you wanted to use this, you would go to Instrument, Save As, save your um, instrument as a name or the name of the track, and then you would save it. I save it. Um, I save it in Library, Application Support, Logic, Sampler Instruments my samples and there's my samples there so you could save it there as a sampler instrument I'm not going to save it whoops okay so once that's done let me delete that now okay take it off solo delete that as well okay so what I was left with is what I was left with so made a simple beat tempo is 93 made a nice little beat there nothing nothing major just you know just to ride along okay I'm gonna play it from the start and I'm just gonna play the samples all the way through um, 
maybe up to one, two, three. These three bars, and then we'll see how it sounds. Okay, now that is just the track chopped. It's no music involved, nothing else. It's literally, whoops, that's a piano. <laughs> it's just literally chopped up music. Okay, so let me just unmute these now. And um, yeah. That's basically it. That's an EXS24 and what you can do with it. You can do a lot more. I mean, I could put a lot more music on this and chop up more, but it's, it literally was just me mucking about with Logic. A bit bored, you know, over Christmas and that, New Year's. So, yeah, enjoy. <laughs>